Notice when you start Excel, your cursor is placed into cell A1. For this example, we're going to type a basic list of salespersons and their invoices. Notice when I type the word salesperson, the column isn't wide enough. Simply move your cursor between the A and B columns until you receive the double-headed arrow, as I show here. Click and drag to make the column as wide as you'd like it to be. And then begin entering salespeople's names. When I hit enter, the cursor moves one row down. Continue entering the names. Now that I've entered the names, let's enter the invoices. Let's add a header, hit enter to move down, and start entering the numbers. Notice the numbers have no formatting. To format the numbers to look like dollar amounts, let's highlight column B, and on our ribbon, we'll see the dollar sign. You'll see a few options here. We'll just click on the dollar sign to the default United States English dollar. You can increase or decrease decimal points by using these buttons here. Now I'd like to add a total line. Simply click below your data, I'll use the word totals, and tab to the column to the right. On your ribbon you'll see the Greek symbol sigma for autosum. Simply click it and notice that it recognizes what you'd like to total. Simply hit enter. Now we can do some formatting to make the data look a little bit more presentable. And that's how you add a sum total to your data. Now that we have some data in our spreadsheet, let's add percentages. I'm going to click into D1 and just use the percent symbol as my header. I'll go ahead and format it now. And then click into D2. There are many ways to add percentages in Excel but I'm going to start with the basic formula by simply pressing the equal sign on your keyboard. And remember, a percentage is one number divided into another, or a numerator divided into a denominator. So I'm going to click on the first cell, the number I'd like divided into the other, or the numerator. Press the divided symbol, or your forward slash, on your keyboard. And then click in the cell for your denominator. And press Enter. You'll notice it's not formatted as a percentage, so simply come up to the ribbon and press the percent style. Just as we did with the dollar sign, we can press the increase or decrease decimal depending on the level of detail you'd like to see. Now you could continue entering the formula into each cell, or just hover your mouse in the lower right hand corner of the cell that has the current formula and click and drag it down. This will copy the formula and the formatting. And that's how we add percentages. I hope you liked the updated version and found some helpful information in this tutorial. Thank you again for viewing this session of Go Ask Debbie. For more tips like this one, be sure to subscribe to my channel.